Okay, wait. I like Brave Souls, but go ahead. Wait, wait a second. So I'm thinking of potassium as a okay. Potassium and sodium are positive charges, right? Yeah. There's nothing in the cell that makes it negative. So if I have okay, if I have ten bananas, right, and I have two milk crates, and I have ten bananas in the left milk crate, and I move the ten bananas into the right milk crate. Do I have a negative 70 resting potential in my left milk crate? No, I have 10 bananas in my right milk crate <laughs> and zero bananas that's in my left milk crate. That's a fan. Okay, all right, all right. So there must be something Does anybody, that's negative. Can anybody say what else is a so Bananas don't have this, but ions do. What do ions have that bananas don't? Charge. Okay, but what is the charge of potassium? Potassium has a positive charge. So, so what if makes it, it so takes negative? with it its positive charge, what does it leave behind? Chlorine? I don't know. <laughs> and what, what's the charge on chlorine? Negative. Negative. I understand that. That's my point I'm trying to make. I'm just saying because in the cell there's chlorine and other negative uh, ions, that's why the cell is negative 70 initially. So that's a fantastic question. So he I says know. there's, there's pro The water that they need from those materials that they eat, absolutely no water. I give them never water and they were happy all the time. And um, uh, yeah, I, I, I love these guys. <laughs> 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 I, <laughs> one day I had my, uh, my white coat, they are in Germany longer until here. And um, I put this mouse in my pocket here <laughs> And I forgot him, and I went to class for teaching. <laughs> <laughs> and during teaching, he came out here, and then <laughs> and then go went back to my pocket. That was. <laughs> this fawn without insulin receptors. This is a so-called leprosaur. You know what a leprosaur is? about these three structures in small intestine, plasticity circularis, villi, and microvilli, uh, three times, 10 times, 20 times. So together, how many times are increased? 600, right? You can't beat me on this. I'm Asian. So. All right, all right. So bad joke for you. What did Escherichia coli say after the date with Candida albicans? He was a fun guy. So now you'll remember that Candida... So, now sodium is powerful. It can go in. This power is given to him from his father, and his father is here at TVH. Okay? He is not rich himself. He's not powerful. But he has a very rich father. Okay, give him money, and he, he thinks he is so powerful. So, but now is the following situation. He cannot go through because he's charged. He needs a transporter. What does he do? He goes and buy a car, a transporter. He needs a transporter, and now he has money, buys a car, and you see here, he has his transporter. And now you say, I don't drive alone. I take somebody with me. It is more interesting. And, <laughs> and he doesn't take a man with him. He takes a woman with him because then it is even more interesting. It is always a negative charge. Uh, uh, also, the women are not negative. Uh, that <laughs> you, you shouldn't take this. Okay? But in rescue stage, the bending side, mycin bending side on the actin is covered up. I have a beautiful picture of here. Okay. Oh, actually, you know what? So this is a couple, uh, several years ago. This is how we do the uh, anatomy, uh, histolab. lab, okay? We use this microscope to show the slides. So Dr. Kelly is doing this uh, uh, the lab session, okay? And he looked pretty good there, huh? So, so this is just... The pulse is regular in rhythm, regular in rhythm, and this is irregular, this is irregular. This is irregular, this is irregular. 
what's the difference between these two? This is regularly irregular. After three bits, there is missing of one bit. This is regularly irregular, and this is irregularly irregular, and this one takes place in the case of atrial fibrillation. Moves through the bladder wall in uh, in a um, uh, how do you call um, oblique angel. Okay, it doesn't go uh, straight forwards. It makes an oblique angel, and that angel or angle? <laughs> what? Angle. Angles. Okay, an oblique angle. Uh, you have no, no children here. Yeah? No children yet. <laughs> uh, but you have been married for some time. Six years. Six years married and no child. <laughs> mm. Now, uh, now, uh, 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 now, either you, you're not trying hard enough, or possibly uh, you should send your, uh, your husband for a sperm count, uh, or otherwise, uh, well, it could be related to her thyroid problem. I, I try too much. <laughs> <laughs> now, the uses for the, uh, for the heparins, treatment of venous thromboses, Pulmonary embolism, management initially may be of unstable vagina, uh, angina. <laughs> Acute. I told him, I told him that. Well, you wouldn't have believed the damn answer I got back. You're an idiot. You're in a Caribbean medical school, for God's sake. What do you know? Okay. So I published it and embarrassed the son of a bitch. So what is what is called the phenomena of anticipations? Well, anticipations, the definition correspond to the progressive earlier onset. I went here in the clinic and I, I'm dying from the pain in and the physician there asked me, yeah, uh, what is your father, what is your mother, all the history taking. <laughs> uh, I said, crazy, give me something <laughs> to, <laughs> to relax the muscle. I, I'm really, uh, in this pain, I cannot think about your history, which I had or not. Yeah, uh, muscle relaxants, uh, you can give a, a, a buscopan, it's a good one, infuse that to, to relieve me. Uh, so sometimes these, what we learn, a good history taking is problematic. <laughs> so, um, anyway. And so the first drug that we want to talk about is a drug called Infuvirtad, okay? So Infuvirtad. In, don't you just love drug names? I swear, man. Infuvirtad. Whoever came up with that? The next entry so, inhibitor. Infu now, you thought that had a weird name. This is even better. It's called Maravarok. Uh, this always makes you think of like a steroid pumped up wrestler or something. Maravarok, okay? So, Maravarok is also an entry inhibitor. The scrubs. I don't watch this show, so I'm the wrong person to tell you about this, but this is the Todd. Is your hero the misunderstood hypersexual surgeon on scrubs? Deferred attention from pending sex harassment suits by courting favor with coworkers. Snip the sleeves off your sh shirt and give them some skin. Apparently this is the high five follow with the snap. Anybody know this? Right? Uh, let's see. If your mark is reluctant, play the pity card imploring him to Show you the love. Show, show the carry some love. That's a little awkward. So then, hit the hand as hard as you can. You should hear a whip crack. Oh, come on, you guys. It's cracked me. Oh. I don't even know anything about the Todd, but apparently he's looking pretty awesome right there. Okay. This is my man Todd. Let's go. Oh. <laughs> If you put this peridium in this position, this is 12 o'clock position, this is 12 o'clock position, this is 6 o'clock position, so this is 3 o'clock position, this is 9 o'clock, okay? So this is 12 o'clock, 
this is six o'clock, this is three o'clock, this is nine o'clock. These are the positions. Anal fissures are most commonly present in the six o'clock position, can be present in the twelve o'clock position as well, normally. Anal fissure due to Crohn's disease of the anal canal can be present in various positions. Hemorrhoids are present, so this is 12 o'clock, this is 6 o'clock, this is 3, this is 9. Hemorrhoids are present, primary hemorrhoids. And uh, now the end is near, and so I face the final curse.